I'm uh, going to make a bet, a bet that only gets safer as time passes. And it's that all of you here today know someone who struggled becoming a parent. And that's because today, around one out of six people has struggled with infertility. That is huge. And for them, the main medical solution is IVF or in vitro fertilization. And while IVF has helped millions of people becoming parents, it also has left many more millions of people childless. Today, 70% of IVF cycles fail. This is huge. And this means that for patients, they have to go through repeated failed treatments, which is not only very hard to go through emotionally, but is very costly and very often means that they can give up before having had the chance to become parents. This is highly inefficient for patients, but also for IVF clinics, who for obvious reasons would prefer for their patients to go through an easier journey, but who would also want to increase their success rates to attract more patients and to be more efficient to welcome more patients and scale. Something must change. I'm Alex, I'm the founder and CEO of Invitro, a startup that has developed an AI-powered SaaS platform that makes IVF labs more efficient. We want to increase the number of IVF-assisted pregnancies worldwide. We want to make sure that no one is discouraged from trying to become a parent. And why now? Why not 10 years ago and why not in 10 years? Because the infertility market is at a tipping point. You probably all know that infertility is on the rise. We wait for longer before we have children, our lifestyles impact our health. But it's not even just that anymore. It's also about the new way we're creating families. Think about same-sex couples who want to have children. What is clear is that many more people could be doing IVF, and we believe that if we make it more efficient, the market is going to increase. And what's also interesting is that at the same time, we're seeing a shortage of skilled embryologists. And embryologists are the superheroes of IVF labs who are being asked an increasing amount of effort. And trust me, they need help. And we want to be their sidekick. What we have decided to help them with, to start with, is with the one key crucial task they have at the heart of the IVF lab, which is helping them evaluate embryos as they develop. The key task for them is to decide which embryos are worth transferring and which one has the highest chance of leading to a pregnancy first so patients don't go through repeated failed treatments. And trust me, this is really hard. For the last five to 10 years, IVF clinics have been buying very expensive microscopes that record these embryos, showing how much they value being able to peer into these first days of the development. And I'm actually showing you here an example of a video of an embryo, just to show you how complex this task must be. And I'll ask you to just realize that, by the way, this is what the beginning of all of our lives look like. Can you imagine how rich in information this is? Can you imagine being expected to evaluate this while also being on top of many other tasks in the lab? At in vitro, we want to be the second pair of eyes for embryologists. And for that, we have leveraged computer vision algorithms that have been trained on tens of thousands of these videos to help them objectively evaluate embryos. We provide them with a score from zero to one. The closer the one, the more likely it is to lead to a pregnancy. And this has been clinically validated by our group in several peer-reviewed research papers. And we now provide them with even more data points so they feel even more confident about this key decision. This was done thanks to a unique and proprietary international and multi-centric database which not only contains 60,000 videos of these precious medical videos, but also millions of clinical data points, which is what makes us different from our competitors. Because we've understood very early on that while it is important to see how the embryo develops, it is also very important to contextualize this development and personalize this recommendation as an embryologist would do. 
Our SaaS platform now has been developed. It has been CMarked. We have paying customers. Customers have uploaded more than 12,000 embryos through our platform. And even more excitingly, we have gone one step closer to our vision of becoming an end-to-end -end SaaS platform that helps with other workflow inefficiencies. Because trust me, there are others. They have a lot of needs with respect with their embryo management. Our direct clients are IVF clinics who pay for a license, their annual licenses, to save precious time while maintaining high standards of embryology. What our latest studies have shown is that we can actually save them up to 80% of the time they spend evaluating these embryos while gaining confidence in their evaluation. And here, I think it's important to say that we don't want to make them save 100% of their time because we want and expect them to still look at their embryos. We want them to work their magic only with increased superpowers. And in a separate study, we've actually shown that had they listened to our tool, we would have helped them save 20% of the cycles needed to reach a pregnancy. And very interestingly too, we're seeing that this tool helps doctors increase transparency to the journey for patients because we have developed a secure patient portal that allows doctors to choose which information about their embryos they can share, helping patients that are going through this nerve-wracking journey seeing a little, understanding more what's happening in the lab. All of this has been done thanks to, to this amazing team of VC-backed medtech experts, which I can only thank for being part of this journey, and who have had the honor of witnessing more than 500 in vitro pregnancies, with many more to come. Let's shape our reproductive future together. It really all starts here. If you have any questions, contact me if you want to learn more about what is quite literally a life-changing company. Thank you very much.